Hi, I'm Tracy Neal, founder of I Sell Beer, and this is our Q1. Wait, this is our Q1 and Q2 update for 2023. As usual, our developers have been very busy over the last six months, pumping out lots of new features and adjustments to both the app and the back end, which we call the Enterprise Portal. So I've got a list here. Let's go through them. The first thing I'm very proud and excited to announce is that we released Pods integrated with Encompass. So Pods, as you know, is for tracking new points of distribution and validating that the product actually made it to the shelf. Well, as I promised last year, we did an integration for all Encompass distributors. And so what's happening is our computers are talking to their computers and it's telling the sales rep when they're in a specific account, which SKUs have been delivered that qualify as a new point of distribution. This saves the sales rep time and it improves accuracy because they don't have to select a brand or a SKU, it's already there. They just select it and then they take a picture, confirming that it's on the shelf with the number of facings and the price to consumer. If you're an Encompass distributor, check it out. It's really cool. And if you're not an Encompass distributor, Pod still works really well. It's just that the sales rep has to select the brand and the SKU before they validate the shelf placement. The second thing we rolled out early in the first quarter of 2023 is what we call VIP check for Red Bull. Now we understand that a lot of Red Bull distributors have a program called VIP contracts. These are contracts with the stores on the number of placements and coolers and signage and facings and shelves and stuff like that. So we were asked by some really large Red Bull distributors to create a validation survey, which allows a sales rep in the off premise to go into an account and select a number of parameters. They simply scroll through after selecting the account and they select things like EDLPs and the number of shelves, the number of facings, whether they've got a cooler, stuff like that. And at the end of the survey, the app will actually tell the sales rep whether or not this store is in compliance with their VIP contract or not. VIP check is intended for off-premise Red Bull exclusive sales reps only, and it's intended to be done monthly, so 12 times a year by the sales reps and quarterly by the DMs. Check it out. If you're a Red Bull distributor, give us a call. The third update we did was in the app, and this is where we call the account check-in screen. So the account check-in screen used to just be one line. It would say the account name and the account number. We got feedback from sales reps that sometimes they need a little bit more detail just to make sure that they're selecting the right account and having improved accuracy on reporting. So we've expanded the account check-in to two lines. It's now gonna show a lot more detail and we're expecting even greater accuracy and better ease of use for sales reps. Android customers, if you use an Android, you know our Android development has always been a year or two behind. And frankly, you know what? Designing for Android is just a lot more complicated. It takes a lot more hours than it does for iOS. But for the last six to 12 months, we've had a dedicated Android team. And this Android team has done two things. First of all, they've brought the Android app up to par in terms of the design, the interface, and the colors. So it looks as much like the iOS app as we can. There are some restrictions that Apple has that we can't copy, but for the most part, it's nearly identical. The second thing we did for Android is we created pods, right? And I spoke of pods earlier. Pods integrated for Encompass is now available, and that was one of the first things we went out and built on the Android. So Android users, you're gonna have some good stuff, and what I have coming for you next quarter will be the VIP check for Red Bull. So Android users, we've heard you. We know we need to improve stuff. We've been diligently coding and we're getting that Android up to par with the iOS app features. Our next feature that we did is mostly for the analysts who are working on the back end or our enterprise portal. We've increased the ability to do more filters around ad tracker reporting, more filters, more column, more exports, and this is all around the hierarchy of your sales organization. This request came in to us from Frank Beer up in Wisconsin. Thank you, Frank Beer. We appreciate the feedback and we know that the features you've suggested are gonna benefit everyone across the country that's using Ad Tracker to increase their DDSOF during keychain periods. And now to my favorite update. This is around incentives. So as you know, last year we did a lot of releases to make incentives good and better. And we've got a lot of distributors and wholesalers across the country who are using incentives live on the app. And frankly, they're giving us a ton of feedback. So I've got about six things here that we did to update incentives. 
The first thing we did is we decided to round up to the nearest dollar. Okay, gas is four bucks a gallon. There's no need to split this dollar down into pennies. We got rid of the pennies. We're rounded up to the nearest dollar. It's just easier to read and more accurate. The second thing we did was we made it so that the manager can remove a display from an incentive. So if an incentive is not qualified, the manager can actually remove that display and it won't get counted in the incentive, but it'll still be an active display out there. Next, we looked at the three tabs. So we have a current and past incentives tab. Sales reps told us, hey, during the last four to six days of the month, I'd kind of like to see an upcoming tab, right? A future tab. What incentives am I gonna have next month so I'm aware of them? So we now have three tabs. One of them is upcoming. And if your analyst or if your business manager is loading future incentives in there for future months, you'll see them there. Of course, not populated with any results, but you'll at least be able to see what incentives are upcoming for the next month. In that same vein, we also went to the past incentives and we were told that we were ordering them incorrectly. We had the most recent incentive all the way down the bottom. And so you, a lot of people were having to scroll through 20 or 40 incentives. We've inverted that now. So your most recently closed incentive is at the top of the past tabs. This should make it easier at the beginning of the month to go back and see which incentives closed out last month and how your results are. One more thing we did on incentives, and this is again directed specifically for the analyst on the back end of the enterprise portal, is we added brand and in-store location as parameters for the high watermark filter. Now, if you don't use the enterprise portal, that doesn't mean anything to you, but if you do, what it means is you can now select the brand or the in-store location to be part of the high watermark filters when you're tracking just the high watermark of performance in each account. Thanks for your patience, I've got one more update here. And that update is we've added a new tab in the brand set builder on the app. So if you go to the app and you see all the different tabs for different brands, and those tabs can frankly be named anything. Some people call them domestic, import, craft. Some people call them by Anheuser-Busch or Miller Coors or C Brands, whatever you wanna call them. We've created kind of an AI bot. And we were told that it would sure be nice to have all the brands that are on active incentives to be on their own tab. Now a brand can live on more than one tab, right? So if it's Bud Light or Coors Light or Miller Light, that brand might still be up under the domestic tab, but there's also gonna be a tab that says incentives. And this is just one more way to remind sales reps which brands are on incentive this month, and it makes it easier to go select them. So we call this the automatic incentives tab under the brand set in the app. As always, I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day. Thank you for making us your partner in execution. I know you killed it on your 4th of July execution and we can't wait to see you at the NBWA in Las Vegas later this year. Make it a great day in the trade and good luck on your next account call. I know you're gonna kill it. <laughs>